Yo, what is good guys? It is Grateful back here today with another video on NBA 2K23. And today in this video, I'm gonna be going over a center build, one of my favorite center builds in this game. Now this build is current gen and next gen friendly. Just because I'm making it on next gen, you could still make it on current gen. Um, that's how a lot of the builds are in this game, like the lockdown builds, etc. etc. You can literally copy the next gen builders it still have almost the same build like obviously the height might be a little bit different and stuff but you but if you want to have the same build you really can like if, if you got to tweak it a little bit though i'm not going to be going over current gen in this video but during the week i will be making more current gen build content um i'm going to be making a center build on current gen again soon just because i want to make a different center build i think i already did i can't even remember if i did or not to be honest but um yeah let's get straight into this video right here so i'm going for center on the position right here obviously because i said it's a center build and this this build i'm going 611 max wingspan and then i want to go for like uh i want to go for like a 90 strength on this build to be honest i want to go for like a 90 strength just so you can get um that extra amount of like acceleration and all that so you get bully on gold you get bully on gold at 89 so actually what i do i do that actually yeah i'm gonna do that real quick i'm gonna bring this down to an 89 boom right there get that extra acceleration speed real quick so yeah bring that down a little bit bring the strength up bring the acceleration and the speed both up bring the vertical up all the way and i'm bringing the stamina to a 95 now i'm gonna bring the vertical down to an 80 so the defensive rebound you want to max it offensive you want to put that to like a 90 block max it interior defense max it pass accuracy is the only thing you want to put up within this center build you don't even want to touch anything else so for the standing dunk i'm going to a 90 driving dunk, i'm going to a 95 driving layup there boom right here okay so i don't think that okay you can get more so you get more of that no you can't so you can get more right here and um the perimeter defense and the steel like it matters what you want with this build if you don't care about the perimeter defense you don't care about the steel like if you are playing fives and stuff like that then make this build right here now i'm going to tweak this build a little bit and actually make it a little bit different so i'm bringing down the playmaking right there i'm bringing down some of the stuff within the um within the finishing and then now i'm going to put this towards um perimeter defense and steel bring this up boom 60 for each right there you get an extra defensive as this is the build that i would make right here now you can make the other build without the perimeter defense and steel if you want you still get vice grip with the 65 pass accuracy i feel like 65 pass accuracy is fine on a center um and yeah this is the 611 center this is what i would probably use within wreck and stuff like that now here you want pay intimidation the best takeover in the game and i'm going interior bad drop now i'm going double rim takeover because i legitimately feel like rim take any one of them are the best takeovers in the game because it's just so paint mash heavy this year with the game that like any rim takeover is gonna eat this year you're gonna eat off of the rim take this year so um yeah let's get straight into the test build show you how the bash setup real quick bash setup should be pretty easy for this build should it be crazy much like it's pretty obvious what the bash setup would be to be honest but for everybody who's new i will show y'all real quick so right here i'm going for vice grip on bronze and then i'm gonna go for floor general special delivery boom easy as that i just want to go over that real quick just this so for the finishing i am going for limitless takeoff yes you get that on tier one and then you get posterizer on tier two amazing 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 and then so you have seven right here fearless finisher boom easy as that i'm gonna core rise up i'm gonna put on masher and then you can get an extra so what i would do is to be honest with this but i would go two and two i would go two and two to where you get the um the extra badge points to this so you can put bully to silver to right now so boom you have it on silver and you get that extra two badges so for the defensive i am going to be going challenger glove interceptor um chase down 
and box out beast and then i'm gonna be going i'm gonna core rebound chaser core rebound chaser let me tell you guys is so easy to core when you are playing wreck it is so damn easy to core um and then i'm gonna be putting brick wall on bronze anchor on hoff and then maybe chase chase down on hoff yeah so um like i said the bad setup is pretty easy for centers in general this year it's very easy now real quick i'm just gonna go over like if you core vice grip and then you put um special delivery up or actually you could core vice grip put break starter up boom right there and like i said within the finishing before you add the badge points and you get that bully on silver you can edit it later to where you maybe get rise up on silver bully on gold you can change those around a little bit get those extra two badge points just put them two and two trust me on that and um if you want to risk doing some sort of glitch or something not my problem i don't care um but yeah it's been grateful and thank you guys for all the support recently i will be coming out with more diverse videos very soon be coming out of the channel update soon i will be streaming soon also not only park i will be playing my team on stream i will start to branch out and do some other things i'm just kind of starting off with park just because it's in that it's a good building block for me to start on just to get myself used to doing content and bringing stuff out for y'all so um yeah once i do end up streaming hopefully by then i'll be able to get like a face cam and all that but if not you know we'll just roll with it like you've been rolling with this terrible mic i've been using for the audio for these videos so um yeah it's been grateful and i'm out peace